Oh shit, y'all joined your boy? <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know I was recording. I didn't even know I was filming, man. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Poppy Blasted, aka Rope God. Rope God. Rope God. Yeah. And today I'm coming at y'all with another tutorial, man. And this video right here is how to get 360 waves, like how to get a 360 wave beehive crown with just a comb in a Toothbrush. Yeah, it's about to go down. Keep it locked. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. So wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. So wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. So. I'm so. I'm so. I'm so wavy. Yes, I'm so wavy. Wait. All right. First off, so the reason why I was combing in the beginning of the video is because combing plays a big role in the wave game and everything. Connections, crown everything bro waves period combing you want to do this every day at least once a day okay so this is what i do to my crown though so all right first off i just combed out the, with the grand and against the grain my crown everything yeah i'm woofing right now my hair long and shit you know and like i say y'all know i got two crowns so my crown ain't perfect but you know it's there you feel me so this is what i do pretty much to get my crown, um, like my crown sessions. When I get my crown sessions, this is what I do. All right. So you're gonna need a comb, a toothbrush, and you're gonna need a pomade. All right, you'll need a pomade. It don't have to be a thick pomade, or you can use a um, royal thickening butter. I use the royal thickening butter. It don't have a lot of hold like that. It has a decent enough hold, but I recommend that you use a pomade if you're a beginner and you're trying to get your, your beehive um popping more i just use rtb because it's a thickener it's a hair thickener and i have two crowns so being that i'm not like a beginner waver like that i don't really need pomade so i'll use rtb real thickening butter you if you want it if you want to purchase it it's a hair thickener it speeds up your wolf y'all know you see my wolf i use it for my hair too not just in my crown with my hair too y'all see how long my wolf how um i've just barely been whooping only about what seven weeks and my hair is this long already so it speeds up the wolf it also um, helps with hair growth. In my crown, I have two of them, they're thin, so I use that in my crown. I prefer that over the pomade, all right? So anyway, so you need that, you need a pomade or rubber thickening butter, you need a comb, and you need a toothbrush, all right? Any type of toothbrush, you can use a soft one, medium, hard, whatever. I use a medium one though, all right? So this is, uh, this is basically what I do. So let me comb my hair back down. Let me comb my hair back down, let me see, let me see. Go from the crown first. This is what I do every morning, like not every morning, but every day. I don't know if it's, uh, it's either the morning or later on. It all depends on how I feel. But I do it though. I make sure I do it once a day, whether if it's in the morning, evening session or whatever type of session, it doesn't matter. Okay. You gotta make sure your crown flowing with your wave, so that's why you wanna comb the rest of your hair out. So I'm combing with the grain. You don't really have to comb against the grain like I did, I just do that, that's just what I do. So you could just comb with the grain like this the whole time. You don't have to go against, like I did. And for the people who don't know what against the grain is, it's pretty much combing backwards like that. I just comb forward, backwards, and I'm combing forward again. That's just like a little connection method I do. You know, this is what I do. <laughs> some of y'all know that, some of y'all don't. All right, anyway, so let's get it straight. All right, so after you do that, you comb your crown out and everything, make sure you comb it, you know, for the pattern that you're going for, beehive, uh, swirl, whatever. Oh, this is for the beehive though. So this is for my beehive people, I'm tripping. All right, so next, this is what I do. I forgot to mention too, I use a plastic bag. Forgot, I use a plastic bag too. 
So you just want to use your plastic bag to kind of like lay your crown down more, get it ready, prepare it to lay down. That's what I do. So that's how the crown looking like that. See, y'all see that? All right. So now we're gonna use our pomade or our RTB. If you wanna purchase the RTB, contact me. Check out my description box, you can email me. You know what I'm saying? All the information is in my description box. Email me and cop this RTV. So I'll get a little bit, put a little bit in. I'll apply it like this. I'm gonna apply it frontwards because this is how I regularly do it. So I apply it like this. Just apply it like this. All around your crown. Like the outside of your crown, away from your crown applying it away from your crown not actually inside your crown like where the actually crown starts at but just on the outside of it all right so now Now that it's looking like this, this is how it's looking. You see, I apply it all on my crown like this. All right. Now you wanna use your toothbrush. All right, and the reason why I use a toothbrush now, I didn't, I never really used to use a toothbrush to be honest with you. I just recently started using it. And the reason why I use that shit it's because the toothbrush is small, so you can get into your crown easier, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, t I promise you, I never used to use this. I just started using it, and it started working for me. Like, I'm noticing like my crown getting a little better. So once you uh, apply that, you just want to brush how you regularly brush your crown with the other brush. But just now, you can get in there deeper in your crown. Now, you can get deeper into your crown. You know, because the toothbrush is small. You can get deep in there, but don't brush it all extra hard, you know? Just go around it. Brush your beehive angles. But it'd be easier, like I said, because the shit is smaller. All you doing, brushing around it. Yeah. You don't gotta brush it for a long time either. I say about 10 minutes, that's it. Any any little bit works, especially for your crown. Now for the rest of your head, I recommend you brush that a long time, but for your crown, as long as you're putting in about 30, 30 to an hour a day in your crown, you're good. So that's why I say 15, 10 to 15 minutes. You feel me? 10 to 15 minutes. Let's get around it, go around it. Do this like once or twice a day, that's it. Once or twice a day, that's it. That's what I do.
after you do that, I just soft brush around it, kind of soft brush around it like this. Yep, and that's it. That's all I do. That's how I get my beehive crown with my with my with my uh toothbrush, toothbrush, a comb, and that's it, bro. Toothbrush, a comb, and a plastic bag. That's it. And then after that, I plastic bag it again just to lay it down more. You know, depending on how long your hair is or whatever, it's gonna be harder for it to lay. How long your crown is. My crown is pretty long, so I plastic bag again afterwards like this. And then I get a regular session in because obviously your, the rest of your hair is still gonna be combed out. So you gotta get a regular session in. And then after that, after the session, you brush around your crown when you get in a regular session. Don't brush your crown again because you already got your crown session in. So you get in a regular session, you brushing around that shit. So you get a regular session, right? You brushing around it. You're not touching your crown now. That's why it's important to use a mirror. Don't touch your crown, because you already gave your crown that work. You feel me? So you don't gotta brush your crown no more. Just brush around it. When you get done with your session though, when you get done with your session, go over your crown again with a, with a, uh, go over your crown again with the plastic bag, just to lay it back down before you rag up. Don't just get done with your session and rag right up right away. No, -uh. when you plastic bag and we done with your session, you gotta plastic bag the rest of your waves, right? plastic bag your crown too to lay it back down because it's gonna lift up a little bit being that you you know got a, a regular session and you didn't touch it for a while so yeah that's it for my that's it for the for the tutorial man that's just what i do for my crown you guys always ask what you do for your crown what you do for your crown yeah that's what i do bro i use i use a, a toothbrush to one on it i've been using this shit for about a couple months now and it been working you know well, like I said, my crown ain't perfect, but hey, I'm working. Just like y'all, we all working. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so y'all been asking for crown tutorials. I gave y'all two back to back, you feel me? But with that being said, man, got any questions, y'all already know what to do, man. Comment below. I got y'all, PB Gang, man, that's what I'm here for. So don't trip on, get back to you, I'll get back to you when I can. It might, it might not be right away, but I will get back to you, all right? But I'm out of here, man. And if you're great, they gonna hate. Yeah. Cut the camera, nigga. <laughs>